Hello and welcome to a new video of Appelbaum.com. My name is Joost Appelbaum and today I'm going to tell you about the beautiful Mont Blanc Patron of Art 2022 homage to Victoria and Albert limited edition pants. As always, if this video helps you, leave us a like and if you're interested in these fine writing instruments, visit our store in Lado or Boston or order it online in our web store at Appelbaum.com. We will talk later about the boxes the pants comes in, the materials of the pen and references of the pens, their filling mechanism and of course the nibs. At the end we will also do a comparison and give you some specs but first we start with the history and the inspiration of these writing instruments. Ever since 1992 Mont Blanc has released a Patron of Art collection in the spring of every year. These Patron of Art pens are beautiful handcrafted writing instruments that pay homage to the most important patrons of art and culture in the past centuries. After 30 years of patron of arts, this will be the last edition in the series. So Mont Blanc decided to make the vinyl edition extra special by releasing not one, but two pens. The first 2022 patron of art pen is dedicated to Victoria, Queen of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland from 1837 until 1901. When she was born, nobody could have predicted she would one day rule the country. At birth, she was fifth in line of succession. But sadly, none of her cousins lived long enough to claim the throne. Victoria's own father and grandfather died before she was a year old, which is why she succeeded not her father, but her uncle to the throne. She became to their presumptive in 1830, when she was only 11 years old. Her uncle, the king, was very much against a regency period after his death, which meant he had to stay alive at least until her 18th birthday. This may sound dramatic, but he actually passed away a month after she turned 18. So it was a very, very close call. Although her region officially started the day her uncle died, her actual coronation took place a year later, in 1838. Victoria met her future husband, Albert, to whom the second pen is dedicated, before she became queen regent. She was only 17 at the time, but she liked him very much. She had no intention of marrying so soon because she considered herself too young and she wanted Albert to have enough time to develop himself for the role of consort. However, just over a year after her coronation, they became engaged. Fun fact here is that it was Victoria who officially proposed to Albert because as per tradition, it was not possible to propose to a region monarch. Rumor was that Victoria didn't want to wait with her proposal any longer, because being single, she was required to live with her mother, whom she was absolutely hated. And once she was a married woman, she was finally able to evict her mother from the palace. However, that was not the main reason for Victoria to marry Albert. She was absolutely, completely in love with him and wrote of his sweetness and kindness many times and they spent a lot of time together. The reason Victoria and Albert were chosen for Patron of Art Collection is because of their mutual interest in culture. They were patrons of many artists, but they also wanted to make art accessible to the whole population. The best example of this are of course the Great Exhibition at the Crystal Palace in I-1851 and the Victoria and Albert Museum in London which opened in 1852. The Victorian Albert started out as a museum for applied art as well as science and many works were either donated by or on loan from the royal couple. The famous Royal Albert Music Hall was also built under the region of Victoria, although sadly Prince Albert himself had already passed away by that time. Queen Victoria outlived Albert by four decades, during which she was often called the Widow of Windsor. Victoria passed away at the age of 81 after a 63 years regency. This beautiful pen is a very fitting tribute to this monarch, 
because according to her biography, she was a dedicated writer. She wrote many letters, diaries and kept a detailed journal. It is estimated that she wrote around 2,500 words a day. To protect the beautiful gift boxes from scratching, there is a cardboard sleeve around them with a drawing of the ornate grid of the fence around the Albert Memorial. If we remove the sleeve, we discover the 4810 limited edition rectangular wooden box in a beautiful royal blue. On top of the box, we find the interwinged initials of Victoria and Albert, a design chosen by the couple itself. When we open the wooden gift box, we find the fountain pen resting in a slit in the black soft velvet. Also, the certificate of authenticity, a warranty booklet and a full color information booklet are inside the box. So, this year we have two editions of the Patron of Art pen. Here you see the Victoria pen and the Albert pen from the 4810 limited edition. 4810 is a number that features very often on Mont Blanc products. It is a reference to the height in meters of the Mont Blanc, the highest mountain in Europe. In line with the Mont Blanc Patron of Arts tradition, Mont Blanc has also created a matching ink and notebook. The mint green of the notebook and the ink matches the green that is used for the cap of the Victoria pen. The cover is embossed with an English rose. As always, Mont Blanc has used beautiful and exclusive materials for their Patron of Art collection. Each pen is based on a metal body. The barrel of both pens is coated with white lacquer and the cap of the Victoria pen is coated with translucent mint green lacquer to reveal a beautiful guillotte pattern underneath. The cap of the Albert also shows a pattern, this time coated in red. The metal parts of the pens are coated with champagne colored gold and the clip is set with a matching synthetic gemstone. And now we get to everybody's favorite part of these kind of videos, the references on the pen. What do all these symbols and colors mean? As always, these pens have plenty of details. So let's have a look at each pen, starting with the homage to Victoria. The white color of the barrel symbolizes innocence referring to the young age at which Victoria became queen. It is also a nice nod to her white wedding dress in those days. The most common color for wedding dresses was black or in case the bride couldn't afford a separately wedding dress, the color of her finest garment. Victoria may not have been the first lady to get married in white, but she did start the tradition of wearing white wedding dresses. The piston filling knob at the end of the barrel shows the VNA symbol, a mix of their first letters. There is also a band in beautiful Victorian pattern that was based on the decoration in Princess Victoria's childhood bedroom. The green of the cap is based on Queen Victoria's favorite dress color, a lovely mint green. In case you can only remember seeing portraits or photographs of her in black, that was the color she chose to wear after her beloved Albert has passed away. Before his passing, she wore far more colorful clothes. The cap is semi-translucent, adding a feeling of depth. When you look closely, you can see the beautiful pattern under the lacquer. This pattern is based on the decorative gate that surrounds the memorial to Prince Albert. The top of the cap is a crown. To be more precise, the crown Victoria wore at her coronation which was lined with bright blue velvet. The clip is shaped like the royal scepter. But if you look closely, you can see that the end of the clip gets wider, almost like a snake head. This is a lovely reference to the engagement ring Albert gave Victoria when she proposed to him. The ring was shaped like a snake and set with several stones, including a green emerald, which was Victoria's birthstone. The clip on the homage to Victoria pen is set with an emerald green synthetic stone. The cap ring is engraved with the words, I will be good. When Victoria was younger, she was not really aware of her status in a monarchy. One day, when she was being really stubborn, her governess told her that her behavior was very inappropriate for a young girl. 
especially one that would be queen someday. She then replied she would be a good girl from then on. The nip was decorated with a Tudor rose, the traditional floral heraldic emblem of England. Now let's move on to the homage to Albert. It has the same white barrel as the Victorian pen, again a reference to the young age at which he became the consort to the Queen. The V&A logo and the decorative band are also the same on the Albert pen. The main differences can be found in the cap. Not only is the color of the lacquer bright red inspired on Albert's field marshal uniform, but if you look through it you will see a geometric pattern. This is a reference to the stepped gable roof of Schloss Rosenau, the home where Albert grew up. The top is decorated with a crown, which pattern is based on the dome of the Crystal Palace, the glass building that home the first world fair. The clip is once again in the shape of the royal scepter, but this time the snake's head is set with a beautiful red synthetic stone. The text on the cab band reads true und fest meaning faithful and steadfast. It was the motto of the prince that was depicted in his coat of arms. The nip on the homage to Albert is decorated with the coat of arms of the House of Saxony, the region Albert was from. So the nip of the homage to Victoria shows the Tudor rose and the nip of the homage to Albert, the coat of arms of the House of Saxony. Both nips are made of 18 karat gold. And apart from that, we can see the year 2022 engraved on the nip, as well as the name Mont Blanc, the Mont Blanc trademark and the gold content. Because Oppelbaum is an authorized Mont Blanc dealer, we can offer all regular nip sizes, as well as special nip sizes, from extra fine to oblique nips, or for example, this double broad nip, as you can see on this Victoria fountain pen. The fountain pen uses the piston filling mechanism. The Patron of Arts homage to Victoria and Albert 4810 pens weighed 104 grams capped and 46 grams uncapped. The pens cannot be posted. The Patron of Art founder pens are based on the 146 model. To compare the size of the pen here you see a lineup with the Mont Blanc 149, the Mont Blanc 146 Geometry, the Mont Blanc 145 Around the World Douai founder pen, the Mont Blanc Patron of Art Victoria, the Mont Blanc Writers Edition of 2022 Grimm, the Mont Blanc Starwalker, and the Mont Blanc Bonheur. And here is a few of the pens uncapped. This was our overview of the Mont Blanc Patron of Art homage to Victoria and Albert Fountain pens. We have not only come to an end of the video, but as I said at the beginning of the video, also at the end of the Patron of Art series, this 30th edition will be the last in this series. Rumors are that next year Mont Blanc will start with a new series also dedicated to the arts. If you're interested in these Patron of Art pens, you're welcome to make your purchase in our web store. Let us know about your experience with Mont Blanc pens by sharing your thoughts and special moments using Mont Blanc in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe.